Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Sunday early evening episode of Ted's Booze Cellar with me your most gracious host Ted. Welcome to the Premier Alcohol Review Show here on YouTube. Now I hope I'm finding you all in a good state of affairs and if I'm not then I hope things improve for you very very soon. Today we're going to be taking a look at a drink that I meant to do around St Patrick's Day um, but I didn't have enough time to uh, acquire it as it were. Um, so uh, this was requested by um, Big Owen, um, Imogen's partner, who you guys will have obviously seen on uh, a few previous episodes on this show. Um, now, Owen's uh, very uh, conscious and proud of his Irish heritage, and he wanted me to review an Irish drink. And um, I've reviewed Jameson's before, uh, years ago. I gave it slightly a bit too positive of a review, if I'm going to be honest, based on its actual quality. Although it's not a terrible whiskey, it's just a bit sort of middling, I would personally say. Um, and I wanted to review a proper good Irish whisky that was re uh, requested by an Irish person. And Owen uh, happened to uh, recommend to me um, Bushmills. Now, this is a triple distilled finest blend uh, signature Irish whisky. And it says here, the original Irish whisky. And the reason for that is because apparently this is the world's oldest licensed whisky distillery. And they've been around since 1608. That is a long, long time to be dedicating yourself to uh, brewing whiskey. And to be fair, if there's any country that can rival Scotland in terms of its mastery of brewing, uh, you know, this golden liqueur of the gods, it's, uh, well, it's Ireland, to be honest. Um, there's really no... Um, two countries that I think can be rivaled in terms of their uh, whiskey production than you know, Ireland and uh, Scotland, really, to be honest. They're both pretty damn second to none. Um, uh, this was on offer, I think, from Sainsbury's. It's 17 uh, quid for this 70 centilitre bottle. Uh, I'm not going to be having this by myself. I'm going to review this, obviously, and then I'm going to take this round to enjoy with Imogen and Owen. Uh, for their leisure as well, um, but uh, I think for the price it is it could be maybe like a one or two quid cheaper for the size of the bottle. I'd probably expect to pay seventeen quid for like a liter, as it is seventy centiliters isn't too terrible for that price. I think. Um, I think the standard price uh, without promotion is I think about twenty quid. So uh, check out your local Sainsbury's if you are so inclined. Um, this is the original version. There is another version of this that is slightly darker as far as I'm aware. We're, we're uh, reviewing the original version of Bushmills today. So, uh, I will say first of all, I love the design of the bottle. This is really what I look for, the kind of design I want in an um, Irish, Scottish kind of uh, distilled whiskey bottle. Relatively simple, a little bit of iconography, but generally sort of basic and sort of neutral colours that sort of draw you in in a very sort of like relaxed kind of way which is kind of how I like to enjoy whiskey relaxed chilled out and uh, while enjoying something else like some nice sci-fi or, uh, or a nice bit of grilled chicken or while I'm playing a video game you know something chilled out and relaxed and that's the impression I get from this so I'll give it a good I'd say 10 out of 10 yeah it's sort of like homely but it's sort of like regal enough that you get a really good sense for the um, the stature of this whiskey but um, we'll have a quick snifter and see what our first impressions are like. So, uh, let's... Hmm. It's got a little bit of an initial fieriness of like a, um, of a Scottish, uh, Scotch. Um, but then it come, the comes back into a sort of a very, almost vanilla uh, kind of version of a Irish blended whiskey. So, um, ooh, yeah, that's a good nose actually. It's actually genuinely one of the better smelling whiskies we've had on the show in the past. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of harshness at the end, but aside from that, I'll say that nose is a solid 9 out of 10. That is really, really nice smell. I must get Philip to try this, actually. This is the kind of nose that he would really like, obviously. He does like the sweeter things. Um, and obviously, as Owen is uh, Irish, I'm reviewing an Irish whiskey, and as Imogen... Uh, is French. I'm uh, reviewing this in a um, uh, reused French Dijon mustard jar, so <laughs> that's why I'm reviewing this. But uh, let's uh, pour it out and see if it smells any different in the glass. Let's see. 
Nice colour to it as well. Very light and honeyish. Ooh, it smells a lot more floral in the glass actually than it does out of the bottle, so that's quite interesting. Um, let's have another snifter of it uh, to get a better impression. Let's see. Yeah, way more floral in the glass. In the bottle, it smelled more um, vanilla y and honey ish, I would say, but in the glass, it almost smells purely like kind of like dandelion and honey almost. That's a lovely nose. In the glass, it does smell a little bit better. There's less of that harshness at the end as well. So I'll give the nose in the glass a 10 out of 10. That smells lovely. Wow, that is lovely stuff. Anyway, as always, quick palate cleanser before we see what this tastes like. Ah, oh, lovely. And then on to the most important part of the video. I hope everyone has had a great Easter and Passover beforehand, and I hope you all have a great week ahead. Let's see what this sucker tastes like. Bottoms up. Oh, that's smooth. Oh, that is very smooth. Oh, I do like that. That is good. It's almost like drinking. It's got like it, it's re. This is so unique. It's got like the the body of flavour of like you know an archetypal uh, sort of a supermarket scotch, and then it's got this underlying oakiness and smoothness that you more traditionally associate with like blended Irish whiskies. Um, it genuinely feels like the combination of all the best parts of Scottish scotch and Irish blended whisky, but obviously this you know. Is um this is a triple distilled uh, whiskey? It's not it's not a blended one, obviously, but that's the impression that it gives me. It's really strange and unique, but yeah, there's this underlying sort of like wispy oakness, not like really heavy, but like very light um, along the underline of the flavour that sort of kind of undercuts this sort of like smooth like but slightly fiery, like vanilla flavour, that's the main through line. And then the overtone is a... Uh, then the overtone is like a little bit more vanilla, so like the main sort of body of the flavour you're getting here is kind of somewhat vanilla-y, with a little bit of a florally uh, overtone, and then it's undercut by this sort of very light, almost uh, like smoky, wispy oak sort of kind of flavour, and then the sort of like aftertaste. Okay, it comes back to that oak flavour, sort of kind of passes through that sort of stages of like going vanilla, then floral, then a little bit of vanilla again, and it finishes again on that sort of kind of oaky aftertaste that kind of just sort of brings it all together. It kind of gives me the impression. I'm sort of sitting with like a nice bowl of Irish stew in you know one of those classic old old school brick and mortar kind of pubs in some tiny little Irish town overlooking the moors. That's the impression it gives me. It's like this feels very, very Irish and in the best possible way because you can tell this has got real character to it, but it's also a combination of different flavours from different styles of whiskey that I really like. It's got a bit of the fieriness of Scottish Scotch. It's got a bit of the smoothness of like Irish blended whiskey, and it's um, it's got the main sort of flavour and floral uh, aspect of like Irish uh, triple distilled whiskey. It's really unique in that it combines a bunch of different characteristics, but does it so smoothly as well. Um, the flavour is great. It's the best whiskey I've had is still the Aaron 18 Year Single Age Malt. Like, I don't realistically think anything is going to come. Close. Although this is pretty damn good in of itself in terms of like whiskies that you can buy in like an, any old supermarket. It's just like there's this extra little bit of pizzazz uh, of pizzazz that I'm kind of struggling to like note down. And there's something in the aftertaste that I'm not a hundred percent sure on, but what is here is down near one of the top um, 10 whiskies I've ever had. 
Seriously, this is really good stuff. So I'll gladly give this a... Um, nine. Yeah, I, lo I love this. This is one of my favourite whiskies. Easily, easily top, uh, top f sort of five, I'd say, at least. It's right up there alongside um, uh, the... Uh, Blackmore version of Famous Grouse and uh, Monkey Shoulder, and it's not quite on the same level as the uh, Aaron 18 year single age more, but that to be fair was in its own league, so um, I don't think it'd be fair to judge on that those stands. But um, yeah, this is probably the best sort of shop or supermarket whiskey I've ever had. This is damn good stuff, solid nine out of ten, definitely recommend. Um, and I'd recommend to people who are both into smoother Irish whiskies and more fiery, grrr, sort of Scottish whiskies. It's a really good sort of middle ground between those two. And I think it's thoroughly, thoroughly worth trying out. Even for first time Scott uh, whiskey drinkers, I really do recommend it. Thoroughly, thoroughly well appreciated in terms of that recommendation from Owen there. Well done on that one. But uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed that. So uh, if you guys like this video, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Boozer, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you want to check out anything else I do online, I'll leave the links to my other social medias in the video description down below. But until next time, if you guys like this video, leave a like, share and subscribe. And until next time, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye.